friends, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're doing something a little bit different than normal, and we're going to be building the N700 series Shinkansen Bullet Train. And this is what it looks like, and I think it turned out pretty well. We'll be doing this first cab car of the train today, and make sure you save room on the track behind it, because we'll be doing the rest of the train in future videos. So let's get right into it here. So our first step is to take out some smooth quartz blocks, and we're gonna come on the middle of the tracks and put three of them across the middle. In front of it, we're gonna put three upside down stone stairs facing forward, and then wrap it around the corner and two on each side like this so it makes a corner on each bottom piece. Then above it, we're gonna to switch to smooth quartz stairs, a sideways one, then come around the corner, straight across the front, and a sideways one on this side. Then three smooth quartz across the top middle there. Then we're gonna extend our upside down stone stairs by two on each side, then a two by three of smooth quartz and another two by three above it in the middle. Then we'll switch back to our smooth quartz stairs here, and we're gonna put two facing outward on each top outside edge. Same thing over here. So it looks like this. And actually, we're gonna take out these back stairs and turn them forward so they go around the corner and make this L shape. Now on bottom, we're gonna extend out each side with another two upside down stone stairs. And then on the second layer, we're gonna fill it in all the way across the top with two rows of smooth quartz, so it's all filled in. Once we have that, starting at the back on the outside edge of the top, we're gonna to put a sideways smooth quartz stair, turn forward so it goes around the corner, another forward one, and turn this way so it goes around the corner again and looks like that. We're gonna copy this on this side, so there's a gap between them like this. Then starting from the back, we're gonna put three smooth quartz blocks coming up the middle and two smooth quartz slabs in the middle in front of it. Then we're gonna put a smooth quartz slabs on back of here on either side, like that. And then actually we're gonna come back here and knock out these two inner stairs. So it looks like this. And we'll replace them with smooth quartz blocks. Then we're gonna come around behind it and do our first set of wheels. So on bottom behind this, we're gonna get a netherite on each rail here. And an end rod between them for an axle. Then in front of it, we're gonna do a four by three of polished blackstone, and then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. And actually, that's wrong. We're going to knock out the outside row of polished blackstone, put an upside down polished deep slate stair facing each wheel like this, and two slabs on the bottom middle. Do the same thing here, so take out this outer row of polished blackstone, an upside down stair facing each wheel like this, and two slabs across the bottom middle here. So it looks like this. Next, we're going to take a stone slab and run it across the top outside edge of the truck. Same thing on this side here. Then on the next layer up, we're going to fill the whole layer in with smooth quartz blocks. Once we have that, we're going to come to this top middle here. We're going to put a smooth quartz slab in the center right here. Then two smooth quartz blocks on either side. Then two smooth quartz slabs on top of that. Then we're going to put a black stained glass in the center here. And on each side behind it, we're going to put a smooth quartz slab. Then another glass in the center. Then on the sides here, we're going to put two outward facing smooth quartz stairs on each side. Then above the back stair, we're going to put a smooth quartz slab on either side, just like that. 
On the outside edge behind this, three sideways smooth cord stairs, and then a backwards facing one. Same thing on this side, three sideways and a backward facing one. Then, right in front of these slabs on each side, on the next layer up, a forward facing smooth cord stair on each side, and three smooth cord blocks across the middle. Then, above it, three black stained glass blocks. Then, three smooth cord blocks on each side coming to the back like this. Once we have that, we're going to swing around behind the windshield here and put another three black stained glass behind it. On each outside, a forward facing smooth cord stair. Then we'll come around behind it again on the sides here. And on each sides in these top corners, we're going to put two smooth cords blocks coming backwards. So two up here and two up here. Then we're going to come on top of this window and make a T-shape of smooth cord slabs. Then we're going to grab a black stained glass pane, put three of them across the front of this windshield to round it off, so it looks like that. And if we want it even more rounder, we can put a single black stained glass pane in the front like this. Then we're going to come around inside here under the window put a 2x3 of smooth stone blocks and a 2x3 across this bottom. Then we'll extend the middle three of our smooth stone blocks out another three rows. Next we're going to come on this bottom outside edge here and we're going to take out stone stairs again. And we're going to put a row of upside down, outward facing stone stairs coming back that's four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. We'll do the same thing on the other side here. And above it, we'll put four smooth quartz blocks. Same thing on this side. And then above that, another row of four smooth quartz blocks coming back. Same thing over here. Next, we're gonna take out a birch door here we're going to put a birch door here, skip a block, and another one. Two smooth quartz between them. Do the same thing on this side, so a door, two smooth quartz, another door. Then behind them, a column of two smooth quartz on each side behind the doors. So two here, two here. We'll extend out our smooth stone blocks in the middle by one, then two on each side, and a door in the middle like this. Then, coming off the third block up on the side here, we're going to extend a row of smooth quartz blocks back, and it's going to be 30 blocks long in total. Once we have 30 blocks, come up here, skip a block back on the next layer, and start putting a single smooth quartz block every other block, all the way till you get to the back. This is going to frame in where all the windows are going to be. Once we have that, come back through all these gaps between the blocks and put in a black stained glass pane between every single one of them. So we should have 15 windows down the side if we've done it right. Once we've done that, we're going to come underneath here and we'll put a full row of smooth quartz blocks underneath here all the way till we get to the back. Once we have that, we'll copy it on the other side. So starting on the second and third blocks up, we'll do two rows of smooth quartz blocks coming back 30 blocks long. until it's lined up with the back here. Then on top of it, we'll put a smooth quartz block, every other block, all the way to the front.
then we'll come back through and fill all the gaps with a black stained glass pane for all of the windows all the way down to the back. Behind it we'll do our next set of wheels here. So on the next block down we're going to get another right on each rail here. Then we need an end rod to be the axle. So I'm going to grab one of those. Put an end rod between them. Then we need four polished blackstone coming back up the middle. Then we're going to put upside down polished deep slate stairs facing this way here. Two slabs on the bottom middle. And upside down forward facing polished deep slate stairs on either side here. And two slabs on the middle here. Behind it, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Now we're going to come up to the front on bottom here. On the bottom edge, we're going to put four upside down outward facing deep slate tile stairs because there's like a vent. And we'll do the same thing on this side, four upside down deep slate tile stairs. Then we'll come down by the back wheels on bottom and we're going to switch back over to stone stairs. We're going to put an upside down backward facing one, two outward facing, then four deep slate tile, and then we're going to fill the rest of it under here with all upside down outward facing stone stairs. So it's all filled in. Then we'll do that pattern on the other side. So starting right here. An upside down backward facing stone stair, two outward facing, then four deep slate tile stairs, and then fill the rest of it with upside down outward facing stone stairs till it's all filled in here. Then we're going to come back here by these back wheels and on the top outside edge we're going to put a full row of stone slabs on the upper hitbox to the back of the wheels. Same thing on this side here. Next, we're going to come above it on each side. And on each outside edge, we're going to put a row of smooth quartz blocks coming back. And we're going to cover this section completely and come one block past it. Same thing on this side here. Next, we're going to come inside here and do our floor. So on each side, on the second block up, we're going to put a row of smooth sandstone blocks. And we're going to bring that down each side 30 blocks long. Until it's aligned with this back window divider. Then, in the center, we're going to put a row of raw gold blocks. Just like that. Then we're going to go in and switch back to a smooth stone block. And we'll fill the rest of this floor to the back of it with smooth stone blocks here. Then above that on the back edge on each side of the smooth stone we're going to put a column of two smooth stones like that. Skip a block and another column on each side. Then on the outside edges, a column of two smooth quartz on the outsides. We'll put a door here, a door on the middle of the back, and a door here. We'll fill the rest of this gap with two layers of smooth quartz on each side. Then at the front of the smooth stone, a column of two smooth stone on either side, and we'll put a door in the middle. Then we'll come in this section, and we're actually going to knock out this right hand column of smooth stone here and we're going to move it over by one because there's a bathroom in here. We'll put a door right here then skip a block forward and another two columns of smooth stone to frame in the bathroom. Then we'll put an end portal in there with a trap door above it for the toilet. Then a door on the front of it. In this gap we're going to put a sink so a cauldron with water hit it with light blue dye and above it a tripwire hook for the faucet. Now we're going to put in all the seats so come back to the front and we're going to use warp stairs. And we're going to put one on each side one block back and then keep coming all the way back with it skipping a block of space between them. 
until you filled this whole thing with passenger seats. Right down to the back here. Once we have that, we're going to come on the top outside edge and fill the whole thing with a single layer of smooth quartz. We're going to bring it all the way down to the back. Then we'll come across the back and we'll bring it all the way forward up this side above the windows until it meets up on the front up here. Then we'll come down here to the back with smooth stone three across the top of this door, two on top of each side of the bathroom, one over that door and one over that door. So it's all framed in. Now we'll do the interior of the cab. So come up inside here. We're gonna put three smooth stone slabs across here, two glow item frames with end crystals for computer screen and a lever. Turn around with some stairs, put a stair on each side to be seats. You can have just a single operator or one on each side. I'm actually not sure on this train which is correct. Right here, we need to make another doorway. So we're going to put two smooth stones on each side and another door. Because on the front of it, there's an entrance for the passengers and an entrance for the operators. Come around in front of this and put a smooth stone slab in the middle for a stair. Then across here, we're going to put some temporary blocks. So put three across here, one on the top middle, and put a painting on either side. Delete the temporary blocks. The paintings represent TV screens here. Then we're going to come on top here and put a 3x3 three three of smooth quartz slabs coming back the middle. Then a slab on the side above each of these doors and one in front of it on each side. Behind that, in the middle, we're going to put three smooth quartz blocks and we're going to bring those three blocks all the way down to the back. Then we're going to come back up front here on the outside edge and we're going to put another three smooth quartz slabs coming back on each side. Behind that, we're going to put a forward facing smooth quartz stair on either side and then a line of outward facing smooth quartz stairs down to the end on either side. Next, we need to make a banner. So get out a loom and come into it here. We're going to use a white banner and blue dye. We're going to put a horizontal in the middle and a horizontal on the top here. Then we're going to come up by these doors and we're going to take out iron bars for some handrails. And we're going to put one here, one in between the door, one on that side, and then extend each one down by one block. We'll do the same thing over here. So on each side and in between these doors, an iron bar and extend it down by one. We're also going to put them by this door, so two here, two here. And then the same thing on this side, two iron bars here, and two here. Now we're going to take our banner to do the striping. Start in front of these iron bars lined up with it, and run a full line of banners up under the windows all the way forward. Put one in between these iron bars and one in front of it. We'll do the same thing on this side. So one banner in front of the iron bars, one in between each one, and then a full row of banners all the way down till you get to the back on this side. And that'll complete our striping. And I actually just realized the back of this raises up a little bit. So we're going to come back here above this last window and we're going to knock out the stair on top and knock them all out to the end of it. Do the same thing on this side here above this last window and knock out all the stairs to the end of it. Then at the front of this above the window here, we're going to take 
a smooth court stair and we're gonna put it so it's turned forward right here so it goes around the corner like this and we'll fill the rest of this down to the end on each side with smooth quartz blocks on top of that starting one block behind the stairs we're gonna fill the middle three down to the end of it with smooth quartz slabs here then one block from the end in the middle we're gonna put two slabs raised up on top of that we're gonna put two backward facing levers Next, we're going to take out warp buttons here next to this door and put two vertically stacked warp buttons on the side. Do the same thing on this side here. Then we'll come up front. One warp button next to this door. And the same thing on the other side here. One warp button right here. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and come inside because we need to light up the interior. So I'm gonna come in the cab here and I'm gonna take out the torch. We're gonna put a torch here and here so the cab is lit. Come in this little alcove. Come through here and we'll light the interior of the passenger cabin here. We're gonna put a torch on each side of the top above the first window divider here. Then we'll skip two to the next window divider. Again, skip two and keep doing that all the way down. Skipping two each time and putting a torch on each side. So the whole interior will be nice and lit up and it'll look really cool at night. We'll put two on the back here Come in here, put a torch above this sink. Open the bathroom. We'll put a torch up here in the bathroom. We'll come into this back, put a torch on each side to light this little back piece up, and then we'll come back outside. Back here on this middle block, we put a smooth stone slab. Then, above that, we put an iron trap door. Then we're gonna take out andesite wall on each side and we're gonna come up and around and over the top of the door. Now we're gonna do the headlights. So up here, put a glow item frame on either side with a beacon in them. These aren't accurate. They're supposed to be on these side hump pieces, but there's really no way to do that in Minecraft. So if you didn't like that, we could take these off we could also put the headlights up here. Because they're supposed to be up in here, but that doesn't look good at all. So it's up to you how you want to do the headlights. But there we have it, folks. We've completed our first control car for our Shinkansen bullet train. I hope you enjoyed the build here. And make sure you leave room on the rest of the track because like I said, we will be doing the entire rest of this train in future videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.